Bible on the Gospel part was eight eight. You heard Brother Novell sing about the Sabbath. The Sabbath is a day when we remember God as Creator. And the basic reason for worshiping God is the fact that He created. And the proper relationship between the Creator and the creation is one of dependence. From the angels down to the most microscopic organism, the relationship that should exist between Creator and creation is dependence. Now, physical creation also teaches spiritual lessons. And you need to understand that if this message will make any sense for you tonight. Let me repeat. The physical creation is packed with spiritual lessons. Let me give you some examples. Because many times we fail to understand God's word because we don't apply the lessons in the physical world. Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 says, And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Now, the brother of Jesus Christ, James, he uses this physical reality to teach a spiritual lesson. In James chapter 2, verse 26, he says, For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. So he is using a physical reality, an aspect of creation at the physical level, to teach a lesson at the spiritual level. Let's find another example. In John chapter 3, verse 8, John 3 verse 8, the Bible says, The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh or whither it goeth. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. Now, when you stand outside, the wind blows from any direction it chooses. That's a physical reality. It may blow in one direction in the morning, and in the evening, it comes from another direction. Jesus uses that physical reality to teach a lesson about how the Holy Spirit converts a person. The same way you cannot explain the direction of the wind, you cannot explain the miracle of conversion, but it happens. Let's use another example. Creation on a whole. The Bible says that God created out of what? It teaches out of nothing. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, the Bible says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. The actual uh, translation should be new creation. Conversion to Christ is a work of creation. Let me explain. God created out of nothing. Hebrews 11, 3. Through faith we understand that the worlds were formed by the word of God, framed by the word of God. So that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. God created his own raw material. The theologians call that creation ex nihilo, out of nothing. Now salvation works precisely the same way. Combine a couple of verses, Romans 7 verse 18, the Bible says, For I know that in me, that is, in my flesh dwelleth what? No good thing. How much good? No good thing. Now, so when God converts a man, how much raw material does he get from that man? Nothing. So whatever God makes of that man or woman, he makes it out of nothing. Because you and I cannot offer to God one microscopic measure of goodness with which God can use as a starting base. In James, uh, not James, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 23, the Bible says, Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. As creation was by the word, salvation is by the word. The brother of Jesus Christ, again, James 1, verse 18, Of his own will begat he us with the word of truth. So physically, God spoke, and the world came into existence. Spiritually, the spoken word brings a person into spiritual existence. The Bible says, You hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. The principle is the physical teaches spiritual lessons. One more example. In Genesis 18, when those three strangers came to the house or the tent of Abraham, 
The Bible says in verse 6 of Genesis 18, And Abraham hastened into the tent unto Sarah and said, Make ready quickly three measures of fine meal. Knead it and bake cakes upon the hearth. Now in Matthew 13, verse 33, Jesus is telling the listeners what the kingdom of heaven is like. He's another parable spake he unto them. The kingdom of heaven is like unto leaven which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal the same amount we have in genesis 18 6 until the whole was leavened jesus says the same chemical reaction that occurs when you bake there is a spiritual equivalent when the yeast of god's word gets into your heart if that's clear somebody say amen all right eloi said somewhere every animal is a lesson book she actually said that the inhabitants before the flood, they would look at animals, observe them, then develop weapons of war. Now, they could have developed weapons of good, but they chose weapons of war. Now, the, the, the text that clinches this principle of the physical has spiritual lessons is Romans 1.20. Let's read from verse 19 of Romans 1. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God hath showed it unto them. The Bible says, what is essential to be known about God has been given to us. How? Verse 20. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by what? The things that are made. The Bible says, spiritual lessons can be learned about God by observing the physical world. It is so clear, the evidence of God, the verse goes on to say, so that they are without excuse. That's how clear evidences of God's presence are in his natural world. That's why the devil is trying tirelessly to pollute the entire world. The more he pollutes it, the less likely we are to see God in nature. Now, why did I go through all of that? Let's look at another instance of the physical explaining the spiritual. Go with me to Mark chapter 4. Mark chapter 4, this is the Gospel, part 8. 